Hey everyone, I'm Michael Simon and welcome back to Android Confidential from MWC in Barcelona. And I've got here the Samsung S10 5G and I want one. I just don't want a 5G version. So Samsung came out with an even bigger model this year of its phone and it's called the S10 5G. It's really an S10 Plus Plus. It has a 6.7 inch screen which is about three tenths of an inch bigger than the S10. And you can see it's, it's quite a bit larger, it's a little wider. It has a third sensor on the front, which is a time of flight sensor, which will help with portraits and hopefully down the road uh, facial unlock. And it has four cameras on the back, the fourth also being a 3D depth sensing camera, again with portraits and things like that. And it's just a better all around phone. However, Samsung added 5G to this phone, which kills it for me. Not kills it in a good way. You can't walk 10 feet at MWC without seeing a sign that says 5G is here. There it is. And I don't see it. In fact, I'm on a phone in a booth at this place. And if you go into the settings for your mobile data, guess what? It's on LTE, 4G. 5G isn't here. It's not outside. It's nowhere where you live. If you buy this phone, you're not going to get it because it, it doesn't exist. The carriers, they're not pushing it out till at least the second half of this year. That'll probably be delayed again. We're probably looking at 2020, maybe even 2021, 20, but years away until we have the same kind of all over, I can get this anywhere that we have with a 4G. So, you know, I'm here at the Samsung booth and I'm using this phone as an example, but it's, it's, it's way more than Samsung. LG, Huawei, Oppo. Xiaomi, everybody has a 5G variant of either flagship or some kind of a popular phone. And it's just, it's, it's not viable. And even if, let's say it was, let's say you can go to your carrier right now, get a 5G plan. This phone, it uses Qualcomm's X50 modem, which just came out this year in theoretical speeds, two and a half gigabits per second. Next year, it's gonna be the X55 modem, which goes up to seven gigabits per second. I mean, you're not gonna get either of those speeds on these phones but we're talking about almost three times a year later. Let's wait. There's no reason to push these 5G phones on people right now. It's disingenuous, it's confusing, and ultimately, we're the ones who are losing. S10 5G, I love this phone. I don't love that logo. Give me this without 5G and I'll buy it in a second. We're here all week at MWC Barcelona. Subscribe to our channel, check out all our videos, and I'll catch you next time.